Hi everyone, welcome to the Learn Wise channel. As a part of today's video, we would be covering Introduction to Microsoft Excel. The version that I would be using for my demonstration is Office 365. Now that we have Excel launched, let us start. Excel is referred to as a spreadsheet software. This is because Excel helps us to store data in a tabular form, that is in the form of rows and columns. The option that you see right here on top is referred to as the menu bar, which has various menu options placed. Also in Excel, the menu bar is called as ribbon menu bar because you could collapse or you could pin it back at any point of time. Right below the menu bar, we have the address bar and the formula bar. Address bar helps us to understand the cell address at which the cursor is placed. Formula bar helps us with the entry of formulas. That is, it helps us to type formulas, copy formulas or paste formulas. Below the address bar and the formula bar, we have our worksheet area. The worksheet area is organized into rows and columns. The columns are named alphabetically and the rows are named numerically. Excel stores data into smaller units called as cells. Every cell in Excel has a unique address. The address of the cell can be identified by observing the cell address bar. At present, it tells me T4. What this signifies is that the cursor is at column D, row 4. The cell address is denoted by column reference followed by the row reference. Many cells in Excel together combine to form a sheet. In Excel, we have an option of adding multiple sheets by accessing the sheet tab at the lower bottom corner of the screen. Many such sheets would combine together to form a workbook. The moment we try and save a workbook, Excel is trying to save that as a file. So it is important for us to understand in Excel, data is structured into cells. Cells would make up sheets. Multiple sheets would combine together to form a workbook. As I mentioned earlier, in Excel, the columns are named alphabetically and rows are named numerically. So if you were to scroll right to the end of the sheet, you would see that columns are named as XFT, which would make it a total of 16,384 columns. And if you were to scroll the rows, you would see that that is around 10,48,576. So in total, Excel could handle over a 2 trillion cells. Now that is a lot of data. So Excel is designed to handle huge volumes of data. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.